Hey, this is Kelsey and this is Back to Basics. So how many times have you been at the gym and heard this? Oh my God, I'm not gonna lift heavy. That's gonna make me bulky. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're gonna talk about why lifting heavy instead of high reps to tone is actually gonna give you the physique that you want instead of this big bulky physique that you think you're gonna get. So let's talk about two things that are very important here. Number one, hormonal factors. First of all, women do not carry the testosterone levels that men do. Therefore, we are not able to build the muscle like they do. Second of all, diet. You have to be in a caloric surplus or at least at maintenance levels in order to put on muscle. I would like to say that I am referring to natural athletes here. Any sort of performance enhancing drug is going to give you quicker results. Putting on muscle as a natural athlete actually takes a very long time, a lot of consistency, and definitely patience. If putting on muscle was actually that easy, you'd see a lot more big, bulky women. Go to your local commercial gym, look around. How many huge women do you actually see? because of heavy lifting, the two are actually not related. There's a lot of women out there who are actually very small, but very strong. Marissa Inda, for example, has almost a 180 pound bench and lifts 336 pounds in the deadlift, only weighing 114 pounds. Kim Walford has a huge 507 pound deadlift, only weighing 148 pounds, and I know she weighs in light too. Beverly Crawford, who's a personal friend of mine, actually lifts in single ply and squats almost 400 pounds as well as deadlifts almost 400 pounds. Kim Valentine, who is a tiny little 97 pounds, deadlifts over 300 pounds. And then there's Anna Ziegler, who weighs in at 105 pounds and squats two plates, 225 pounds. So let's talk about why you should do compound movements. There's three really good reasons. First of all, as far as the actual muscle groups that get used, there's always going to be more muscles involved in a compound movement. Isolation moves, you work one muscle, maybe two. Compound movements are full body movements where you're working more muscles, therefore burning more calories. So if you're trying to lose weight, the idea is to burn more calories, yes? So you should be doing compound movements. The second thing is, the more muscle you build over time, the more metabolically efficient you are, therefore burning more calories, losing weight easier. So the moral of the story here is, if you combine heavy compound movements, as well as good nutrition, you're gonna look awesome.